Hi, I'm Dan Veal. You are watching Base Gear Magazine, and this is the Byte Jawbone JJ Custom Base. Welcome back and check out this absolutely awesome bass that we have had sent over from Byte Guitars over in Vienna in Austria. Now I've got a lot to tell you about this instrument so I think what I'm going to do is put some of the backstory into the written review in the magazine so please go over and check that out and we'll concentrate on the sounds and the physical instrument in the video section. Let's get started. Just check out this absolutely stunning finish on this jawbone base. This has been hand painted. Indeed, if you look closely, this finish even includes 24 karat real gold leaf. We're gonna flip the base over so we'll have a look at the back later on, but let's get on and have a look at some of the technical specifications of the instrument. Now, Byte like to do things a little bit different, and this is no ordinary off-the-hook bass guitar. Founded in 2019, already their online configurator has over a billion different bass options, which is absolutely crazy to even think about. You can order your instrument immediately online and just go through a whole bunch of essentially tick boxes of all your favorite options to come out with your ideal instrument. Go onto the website and check it out. I will put links into my written review as well so you can go and check those out. But the options we have on this particular instrument have been chosen for us and I think they've nailed the specification. We've got a great instrument here. Up at the headstock end then, we have option number one. You can even choose the style of the headstock. And this is Byte's own identifiable headstock. Onto the headstock, we get a choice of tuning keys and Byte have selected these very high quality gold units for us. Of course, you can choose a five string instrument and therefore you'd have five tuning keys on the headstock. Let's move down the base a bit at a time. We have a real bone. This is cattle bone uh, nut, and it's a jazz style neck, so we've got a 38.1 millimeter nut width here. The fretboard wood we have is roasted black locust, and we've got these really lovely pearl inlays here. They look absolutely superb against the woodwork. From the front of the base, as we roll it over, we've got a bound neck, black dot markers, and a hard maple neck here. Now, whilst we're here, let's move on to the back of the body. Switching over to my second camera now for a close-up, just look at this finish. It is absolutely stunning. We can see the 24 karat gold leaf through the middle here, and the detail is just incredible. Uh, it just looks absolutely amazing, and I think you really, really need to see this absolutely in the flesh. But I think it looks really, really tasty. As we move down the neck then, we have 20 expertly fitted frets. Indeed, when I was in touch with Wolfgang at Bike Guitars, I said to him that I like a low action on my basses, and boy did they deliver. Not a buzz, not a rattle, and this feels really, really good. I know that I could take this bass straight out to a gig and nothing needs tweaking whatsoever. That is really good for essentially a custom off-the-shelf bass. 
Brilliant stuff. Coming down the neck then, we're on to the body and the electronics side of things. We have two Byte pickups. These are their own custom made 1000 millivolt pickups. Um, I'm going to go into more detail about these in the written review, as I said earlier on. So go and check out the extra details there. Let's get on and hear both pickups on with the tone control dialed back to about 50%. <laughs> And now with both pickups on, this is the tone control completely open. Here's the tone wound all the way down, both pickups on. Favoring the bridge pickup now, I've turned the tone control down to 50% and I'm going to play near the bridge. Of course, who can resist a little bit of funky slap bass? I've pulled the tone control back just a little bit and we're hitting both pickups at the same time. For a colourful vibe, this is what the front pickup soloed sounds like with a plectrum. This instrument almost wants me to carry on playing and just noodling around and trying out different things because it feels really, really comfortable. No buzzes, no rattles, and the tone is exactly what I need from a jazz bass. And funnily enough, I don't actually own a decent jazz bass of my own. Hmm, maybe I won't be sending this one back after all. Topping off the specification then, we've got some really tasty gold hardware. Three gold knobs for the controls here, master volume for the neck pickup, master volume for the bridge pickup, and then a master passive tone control. So it's an all passive instrument. And then finally, a traditional style bridge here in gold as well, and then matching gold strap buttons as well. We even have a matching nameplate on the back of the instrument inscribed with the Byte logo. Weighing in at under four kilos, this instrument is not going to produce any undue stress or strain on your shoulder. In fact, this premium piece of older is incredibly resonant and the whole instrument is being well behaved sat on my leg. I think obviously we've got a very desirable instrument here, but taking into consideration the online configurator, you can choose every option to your heart's desire. And I think that alone is going to be something that you're going to want to put on your shopping list because let's face it, we all like to customize our instruments, but how about somebody does, does it for us and does it properly and it's all delivered in one amazing product. Rounding up then, thanks ever so much for checking out this video review. 
Again, go and check out the review in the magazine with some more information in there as well. I've been Dan Veal, and you have been watching Base Gear Magazine.